hardware infrastructure needed to deploy RPA solutions really depends on what kind of RPA solution you need and what are the use cases. There are two flavors of uh, robotic automation. Uh, the first one would be the uh, back office mode of operation. The back office mode of operation typically requires a set up, but typically it's a virtual machine or a Citrix session to be established. You would want a server or a, a virtual machine or even a cloud machine that will be there to receive automation requests process those automation requests and return the answer. The way that you would deploy it really depends on the amount of throughput that you need. On that terminal server, we would run both the robot and the target applications that we want to automate. And the RPA component itself is distributed from Jakarta's perspective. So it has no server that it needs to depend on. So really all that you need is you need a terminal server session where you can load your RPA, the Jakarta RPA component and where you can load your applications. And so long as the two can interact safely within that configuration, that's all that you need. And the more sessions you need, the more uh, concurrency you need, then the more servers you need to, to acquire. Whereas desktop automation, what we call uh, front office automation, that just goes on the desktop of your agent. So there's no need for any uh, specific hardware or anything else on top of what the agents already have.